Okay. Let me explain to you how I test a calculator as a QA engineer. First of all, I plan static testing, functional and non-functional testings respectively. So I start with static testing by reviewing the requirements and design documentations like SRS and SDS documents as well as acceptance of criteria in the test plan. After static testing is completed, I go on with functional testing including positive and negative test cases. Let me start with implementing positive test cases. For addition test cases, I add two positive integers, for example, 5 plus 3 and verify that the result is correct. I add a positive integer and 0, for example, 10 plus 0 and verify that the result is correct. I add two negative integers, for example, minus 5 plus minus 3 and verify that the result is correct. I add one positive and one negative integer, for example, 20 plus minus 7, 70 and verify that the result is correct. For sub subtraction test cases, I subtract two positive integers, for example, 10 minus 3 and verify that the result is correct. I subtract 0 from a positive integer, for example, 5 plus 0 and verify that the result is correct. I subtract a negative integer from a positive integer, for example, 5 minus minus 3 and verify that the result is correct. For multiplication test cases, I multiply two positive integers, for example, 5 times 3 and verify that the result is correct. I multiply a positive integer and 0, for example, 10 times 0 and verify that the result is correct. I multiply a negative integer and a positive integer, for example, minus 5 times 3 and verify that the result is correct. For division test cases, I divide two positive integers, for example, 10 over 2 and verify that the result is correct. I divide a positive integer by 1, for example, 5 over 1 and verify that the result is correct. I divide a negative integer by a positive integer, for example, minus 10 over 2 and verify that the result is correct. For, di for different operations like decimal point, percentage cal calculation and square root calculation, I test the decimal point by entering decimal numbers and verify if the output is right. For example, 5.9 times 7.3. <clears throat> I test the percentage calculation by entering a positive integer and verify if the output is correct percentage. I test the square root calculation by entering a positive integer and verify if the output is the correct square root value. For example, square root, root of 13, square root of 527, square root of 4. Once I am done with performing my positive test cases, and then I start with my negative test cases. So I test division operator by zero, for example, 10 over zero, and then I verify if the calculator displays an error message. I test an invalid input, for example, two plus a, and then I verify if the calculator displays an error message. I test with an out of range input, input, for example, 100 billion plus one, and then I verify if the calculator displays an appropriate result. I test with negative square root, for example, square root of minus four, and then I verify if the calculator displays an error message. I test with an invalid order of operations, for example, 2x plus 3, and then I verify if the calculator displays an error message. 
I test with a missing operator. For example, two blank three. And then I verify if the calculator displays an error message. I test with a non-numeric input. For example, two plus hello. And then I verify if the calculator displays an error message. Once I am done with functional testing, including positive and negative test cases, and then I go on with performance testing, that is non-functional test cases to make sure how the system behaves. So I perform speed testing to check how much amount of time it takes for the calculator to turn on and off. And I also check the response time for turn on and turn off. I do stress testing to check the performance of the calculator when used continuously. I check the durability of the calculator to see what happens if, even when I shake it or drop it. Last but not least, I verify that the calculator should work properly in different temperature conditions and also should not make any noise. I think that's all about how to test the calculator including static, functional and non-functional test cases. Thank you so much.